My name is Dr. Oluwashen Omofoye, and I'm a neurosurgeon. I was recruited to Thailand's Health uh, to help build the cranial neurosurgery program. Um, so I'll be a neurosurgeon here that will focus on any kind of diseases or pathologies in the brain, uh, but I'll be treating uh, the spine as well and treating and seeing patients in clinic with neurological and neurosurgical disorders. I was born in Nigeria, in West Africa, and I lived there until the age of 16. I grew up in a family uh, with four, uh, three younger brothers. You know, my parents were very focused on education, and that was a big thing in our household. And my dad actually uh, won a visa lottery, and that was how we ended up in the U.S. I went to college at UNC Chapel Hill. I majored in biomedical engineering, uh, but I was always interested in medicine. Uh, I thought that was a good way of uh, combining engineering and medicine because I loved math and science as well. I got a master's in mechanical engineering at Columbia University in New York, um, stemming from an interest in, in surgical robotics. And after that, I came uh, back home to North Carolina to be closer to the family for medical school. And so I went to medical school at, at UNC uh, in Chapel Hill as well, and I uh, got interested in neurosurgery uh, there. And uh, after that, I was you know, fortunate to match into, into neurosurgery and I recently uh, completed my uh, neurosurgery residency at the University of California, uh, Davis in, in Sacramento. And uh, during the course of my residency, I realized that I had a passion for treating uh, patients with uh, brain tumors and uh, you know, I had an emotional connection with those patients. They are often uh, patients who have uh, done nothing to deserve their diagnosis and uh, they are typically grateful for uh, the subspecialized care that we can provide. And so because of that interest, I decided to pursue additional training after residency. I did a fellowship uh, at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles in California. And I just completed that and um, was recruited here to help build the uh, brain tumor program. Growing up in a developing country like Nigeria, um, there were not a lot of doctors. And so, uh, you know, doctors were, were considered like superheroes and um, the very few uh, interactions I had with uh, physicians in Nigeria, um, you know, they left an indelible impression on, on me and, um, you know, I always gravitated, gravitated towards the sciences and, and school and, and so, um, you know, I knew I wanted to become a doctor since I was a, a very young boy. During my college, uh, final year in college, I worked with a girl who had a traumatic brain injury. She had fallen off a horse when she was a young girl and I always wondered if there was more that could have been done for her. And so that was my first uh, interest uh, in, in neurosurgery. But during my first year of medical school, uh, one of our neurosurgeons uh, gave us a talk on deep brain stimulation. And um, you know, uh, after that talk, I, I thought it was you know, a perfect combination of engineering and medicine coming from a biomedical engineering background. Uh, so I shadowed them in the operating room during the winter break of my uh, first year of medical school. And uh, he did an awake surgery on uh, a patient with Parkinson's disease who had really severe tremors. And in the operating room, I was able to see, um, you know, with the surgery being done awake, they inserted an electrode into the uh, subthalamic nucleus in the brain. And um, when they turned it on to test uh, the device, his uh, tremors completely ceased. And uh, that day I knew uh, neurosurgery was what I wanted to do. You know, we, we often meet uh, patients at the worst possible time in their lives. and. Uh, we can make a, a long-term impact and, and change the course of their lives forever in this profession, so I'm, I'm grateful to be a neurosurgeon.